Hello everyone, I am Amit Maru and today in this video we are going to discuss about 01 knapsack problem by using dynamic programming. We already discussed a fractional knapsack problem by using greedy method. So we discussed that if we can uh, divide our object into different parts, it means that it is a fractional knapsack problem and that can be solved by using a greedy method. Now today we are going to discuss about 01 knapsack problem that is a non-fractional knapsack problem and that can be solved by using dynamic programming. So let us, today, uh, let us discuss today's video on the 01 knapsack problem by using dynamic programming. First of all, what is knapsack problem is, suppose we have one knapsack, knapsack is nothing but one bag and we have a number of items or we can say objects. Every object, every item has some weight and value. Suppose these all are the different objects or we can say item, then every item, every object has some weight and value. This object has a weight 12 kilogram and the value or we can say the price of this object is $4. Same, uh, this object has a weight 1 kilogram and the value or we can say the price is $2. This object has a 4 kilogram weight and the value is $10. Like that every object has some weight and value and we have one knapsack. Now we have to fill this knapsack uh, by using different different objects. but one thing you need to retain here is our knapsack itself has one capacity constraint just take one example suppose this knapsack has a capacity constraint 15 kilogram it means that our knapsack can carry maximum 15 kilogram so when we fill our knapsack by using different different object every time we must check that total weight must not be more than 15 kilogram the total weight of the knapsack must be less than or is equal to 15 kilogram and this is known as capacity constraint. So when we fill our knapsack at that time we need to check that total weight must be less than or is equal to capital W. In our case capital W is equal to 15 kilogram. Now what is goal uh, in our knapsack problem or basic goal is we have to maximize the value of the included objects while respecting the capacity constraint so we have to maximize the value of included objects but every time we need to check that our capacity of the knapsack is 15 kilogram so the total weight must be less than or is equal to capital w or 15 kilogram now the question is what is uh, why this knapsack problem is known as 01 knapsack problem this time however the suppose that the object may not be broken into smaller piece so we may decide either to take a full of object or to leave it behind but we may not take a fraction of an object in our greedy method as we discuss uh, we have a different object and we have to fill our knapsack but object can be divided into different parts it means that uh, we can divide any object into different different parts when we fill our knapsack but in this situation we cannot divide our object into different different parts and so that this knapsack problem is known as 01 knapsack problem one indicates full of object and zero indicates we are not using particular object it means that for example this is object number one if we are filling our knapsack by using this object it means that the value of that object is equal to one if we are not using this object to fill the knapsack then it will be zero so that the knapsack problem this knapsack problem is known as zero one knapsack problem now in symbol we can say that we have to maximize total value x i v i i starting from one to n and n is nothing but number of objects so total value we have to maximize which subject to the total weight must be less than or is equal to capital w and this capital w is our capacity constraint of the knapsack so we have to maximize total value but we must retain that the total weight must be less than or is equal to capital w in this case our value is any positive value and weight must be positive and the object must be either 0 or 1 
useful of object or leave it behind and this small n indicates number of object so this problem can be solved by using dynamic programming so as we discuss uh, when we solve uh, any problem by using dynamic programming at that time we have to set up one matrix one table so in this case also we have to set up one uh, table and the table is suppose uh, capital v and number of rows are 1 to small n and number of columns are 0 to capital w this indicates that number of rows are nothing but number of objects small n indicates number of object if number of objects are for example 5 the number of rows of this matrix will be 5 and number of columns is depends on the capacity constraint of the knapsack in our previous example the knapsack has a capacity constraint for example 15 then the number of column will be 0 to 15 so total 16 different columns will be there so we have to set up one table capital V which has a number of rows 1 to small n and number of columns starting from 0 to capital W now we have to fill this knapsack uh, by using some rules and this uh, rule is nothing but uh, one equation uh, using that we can uh, fill our matrix and our matrix is uh, for example v of ij is equal to max it is max indicates uh, we have to identify maximum value among two term the first term is v of i minus 1j and second one is v of i minus 1j minus w i plus v i among these two value which one is maximum that we have to fill inside our matrix another thing is uh, initially we define v of 0j is equal to 0 and v of i 0 is equal to 0 it means that if the value of rho or i is equal to 0 then we have to fill 0 there if the value of j is equal to 0 or if the value of column is 0 then we have to fill 0 there another word we can say that 0th row must be 0 and 0th column must be 0 another thing is we have to fill negative sentinel symbol for all i when the j less than 0 if the column value j is less than 0 or we can say the column is negative at that time we have to fill negative sentinel symbol and here we are assuming that this negative sentinel symbol is highest negative value when we perform addition with any positive value with this sentinel symbol then our answer will be negative it means that this is our highest negative value and we have to fill inside our matrix when the value of j or we can say the column is negative right so uh, just take one example suppose uh, uh, we have a, a different object total five different objects are there and every object as we already discussed has some weight and value we have a different five objects and every object has uh, some weight and value the weight of first object is 1 and value is 1 weight of second object is 2 and value is 6 weight of third object is 5 and value is 18 like that every object has some weight and some value and our knapsack has a capacity constraint that is capital w is equal to 11 so we have one knapsack which has a capacity constraint w is equal to 11 and we have a different five objects and every object has some weight and value as we discuss uh, this is a zero one knapsack problem by using dynamic programming it so that we cannot divide our object into different parts right so it is a zero one or we can say non-fractional knapsack problem so let us discuss how we can solve same problem by using a dynamic programming so as we discuss first step is we have to set up one table that is capital w which has a number of rows one to small n and number of columns zero to capital w in our case different number of objects are five so the total number of rows will be 5 and total number of columns will be 0 to capital W that is 15 0 to 15 total 16 sorry uh, W is equal to 11 so 0 to 11 so total 12 different columns will be there. Now we have to fill this uh, matrix by using this uh, rule by using this equation and the uh, two condition we discuss uh, if the zero throws then we have to put uh, zero there zero column then we have to put uh, zero there and if the column value is negative then we have to put negative sentinel symbol otherwise we have to use this equation to fill the matrix
So let us solve this uh, uh, example by using dynamic programming. So let us uh, set up one table which has a size uh, number of rows small n and number of columns 0 to capital W. Yeah, total number of uh, 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 objects are 5 so total number of rows will be 1 to 5 and total number of columns will be 0 to capital W capital W is equal to 11 so 0 to 11 total number of columns now we have to fill this uh, matrix by using this equation and by using this initial two conditions so let us uh, solve this example by using dynamic programming so as we discuss uh, if uh, there is a zeroth row or zeroth column inside the table then we have to put zero there so initially we have one zeroth column so we have to put zero 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 in this all the cells or we can say the entry of our first column will be zero 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 now we have to fill uh, this value here the row is equal to one and column is equal to one i is equal to one and j is equal to one right so we have to use this equation to fill uh, the value and the equation here is v of i minus 1 j here the value of i is equal to 1 because our first row so i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 1 so put the value of i is equal to 1 so 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 so as we discuss when the value of i is equal to 0 then the answer will be 0 whatever the value of j but answer will be 0 so here the value of i is equal to 1 so 1 minus 1 0 then whatever the value of j this term will be 0 in this case v of i minus 1 again 1 minus 1 0 so i is equal to 0 so this term will be 0 but here one addition with v i so plus v i so v i is equal to v 1 v 1 is equal to 1 so 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 this term will be 0 this term will be 0 plus 1 so 1 so 0 and 1 which one is maximum 1 so we have to fill 1 here if you want to fill any value here then the i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 2 first row and second column so i is equal to 1 j is equal to 2 put the i is equal to 1 in this equation i is equal to 1 1 minus 1 0 so whenever it is 0 at that time your answer will be 0 so this will be 0 again here 1 minus 1 that is 0 so this term also will be 0 plus v1 that is 1 so 0 plus 1 1 so this one 0 and this will be 0 plus 1 that is 1 and the maximum value is 1 so we have to put 1 here in this way it, for the first row the value of i will be definitely 1 so that every time we are getting this term 0 and this term 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 so every time the maximum value will be 1 so for this first row the value for every column column number 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 every value will be 1 now we have to fill our second row when the value of i is equal to 2 and the value of j is equal to 1 second row first column here value of i is equal to 2 and j is equal to 1 so put the value i is equal to 2 so 2 minus 1 that is 1 and j is equal to 1 so first row first column it means that above value this indicates that it is above value above value is 1 we have to compare above value with v of i minus 1 j minus w i i minus 1 means above above value and uh, j minus w i here the value of j is equal to 1 and uh, w of uh, 2 that is a uh, w2 is equal to 2 so 1 minus 2 that is negative minus 1 or negative value so whenever the value of j is a uh, negative uh, at that time we have to put negative sentinel symbol and this negative sentinel symbol is a highest negative value right so uh, the answer will be a negative sentinel symbol when we add uh, v2 v2 is equal to 6 so when we add uh, v2 that is 6 with a negative sentinel symbol then your answer will be negative right so this is the negative value and this is our above value that is 1 so which one is maximum so maximum will be above value right so simply we can say that uh, when we uh, when the weight is um, more than the value of column at that time we have to put 
uh, above value as it is. So here the weight, uh, weight is 2 and the column value is 1 which is less than the 2 so that we have to put as it is above value. Now for this uh, uh, second uh, rows and second column when we fill the second row second column at that time the value of i is equal to 2 and j is equal to 2. So here i is equal to 2 so 2 minus uh, 1 that is a 1 and j is equal to 2 so exactly above values above value is 1 we have to compare with this uh, i minus 1 means above row and j minus w i j means 2 and w i that is a 2 so 2 minus 2 that is 0 so above row 0 column above row 0 column that is 0 0 plus v i that is v2 is equal to 6 so 0 plus 6 is equal to 6 so this value is 6 and this is our above value above value is 1 so 1 and 6 which one is maximum 6 is maximum so we have to put 6 there now if you uh, want to fill here here the value of i is equal to 2 and j is equal to 3 so v of i minus j indicates above value compare this above value 1 with this value v of i minus 1 j minus w i that is above row j minus w i j is equal to 3 3 minus 2 that is 1 above row first column above row first column that is 1 1 plus 6 is equal to 7 so above is 1 and second term has a 7 so which one is maximum 7 so we have to put 7 here now if you want to fill here at the time i is equal to 2 and j is equal to 4 so above value is 1 we have to compare above value with our uh, this term i minus 1 above row j minus w i that is 4 minus 2 that is 2 so above row second column above row second column has a value 1 1 plus v i that is v six uh, v i that is 6 so 1 plus 6 is equal to 7 above value is 1 and our second term has a 7 value which one is maximum 7 so we have to put 7 here so in this way uh, we can get uh, 7 in our uh, fifth column uh, again 7 in sixth column 7th column 8th column 9th 10th and 11th column so every time we are getting 777 seven, seven because uh, above row has a value that is uh, 1 in all the columns now let us fill our uh, third row so i is equal to 3 here and j is equal to 1 so as we already discussed when the value uh, of column or we can say j is less than the weight at the time we have to put above value so for example here weight of our uh, third object is 5 if the value of j is less than the 5 at the time we can put uh, directly above value here the value of j is equal to 1 which is less than the 5 so that we can directly put above value and above value is 1 so we can directly put 1 here here the value of j is equal to 2 the third row and second column value of j is equal to 2 2 is less than the 5 so again we have to put a same value as above value so above value is 6 so we can directly put 6 here here 3 is also less than the 5 so above value is 7 so we can directly put above value that is 7 4 is less than the 5 so we can directly put here uh, above value that is 7 now 5 is not less than the 5 so we have to uh, find value by using this equation so put this value here uh, third row i is equal to 3 and uh, j is equal to 5 so put value here that is uh, i is equal to 3 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 and j is equal to 5 so it is above value above value is 7 the 7 we have to compare with our uh, uh, second term that is i minus 1 means above row and j minus w i so 5 minus 5 j is equal to 5 and w of 3 is equal to 5 so 5 minus 5 0 above row 0 column above row 0 column they has a value 0 plus v i that is v 3 so the value is v3 is equal to 18 so 18 plus 0 is equal to 18 so this term has 18 and uh, this term that is nothing but the above value that is 7 so 7 and 18 which one is maximum 18 so we can directly put 18 here now fill this value uh, the i is equal to 3 and j is equal to 6 so first term that is v of i minus 1j that is our above value above value is 7 
and our second value that is v of i minus 1 above rho j minus w i that is 6 minus 5 that is 1 so above value first column above ab above row first column that is our 1 so 1 plus 18 is equal to 19 19 and above value is 7 so among these two value 7 and 19 19 is greater so we have to put 19 here now fill this value here the value of i is equal to 3 and j is equal to 7 so uh, above value is 7 that we have to compare with 7 minus 5 that is 2 so above value second column above uh, sorry above row second column above row and second column that is 6 so 6 plus 18 so this 6 plus 18 value we have to compare with 7 so 6 plus 18 that is 24 24 we have to compare with 7 so 24 is larger so we have to put 24 here in this way we have to uh, find uh, for the 8th column uh, above value is 7 8 minus 5 that is 3 so above row third column has a value 7 so 18 plus 7 is equal to 25 and above value is 7 so which one is maximum 25 so we have to put 25 here then above value is 7 and then 9 minus 5 that is the 4 above row fourth column has a value 7 7 plus 18 again 25 25 we have to compare with the uh, above value that is 7 so 25 is maximum so we have to put 25 here same way 10 minus 5 that is 5 so above value fifth column above value fifth column has a value 7 7 plus 18 is equal to 25 so 25 we have to compare with 7 so 25 is larger so that we have to put 25 here then again 11 minus 5 that is 6 above row 6 column has a value 7 7 plus 18 7 plus 18 is equal to 25 above value is 7 so 25 is larger than the 7 so that we have to put 25 here so in this way we can uh, fill our third row let us start to fill our uh, fourth row as we already discussed if the value of column is less than the uh, weight of that particular object at the time we have to fill directly above value here 1 is the value of j is equal to 1 and weight of this object w4 is equal to 6 so if the value of j or we can say the column is less than the 6 at the time directly we have to put above value so 1 is less than the 6 so here we can put above value above value is 1 so we can put here 1 here j is equal to 2 and 2 is less than the 6 so again we have to fill above value as a value in this uh, uh, fourth column and th uh, second uh, sorry fourth row and second column then fill this value fourth row and third column so value of j is equal to 3 which is less than the 6 so we can directly put above value that is 7 4 is less than the 6 so we can directly put above value that is 7 5 is less than the 6 so again we can fill above value that is 18 now 6 is not less than the 6 so condition is false so we have to use this equation to fill the value as per the equation v of i minus 1 j it means that above value above value is 19 this 19 we have to compare with our uh, next term how we can find next term so 6 minus 6 that is 0 above row 0 column above, uh, above row 0 column has a value 0 0 plus v of 4 that is 22 so 0 plus 22 is equal to 22 and above value is 19 so which one is maximum 22 so we can directly put 22 here again fill this value here uh, above value is 24 that we need to compare with our next term v of i minus 1 j minus w i here i is equal to uh, 4 so i have 4 minus 1 that is 3 above row and j minus w i that is 7 minus 6 7 minus 6 is equal to 1 above row first column above row first column has a value 1 1 plus 22 that is 23 and above value is 24 now here you need to concentrate here uh, we are getting 7 minus 6 is equal to 1 above row first column has a value 1 1 plus 22 that is 23 
and we have to compare this 23 with above value above value has a 24 so which one is maximum 24 so we have to put 24 here again fill this value 8 minus 6 is equal to 2 so above row second column above row second column has a 6 so 22 plus 6 28 and above value is 25 so which one which one is maximum 28 so we have to put 28 here again 9 minus 6 that is 3 above row third column has a value 7 so add this 7 with 22 so 22 plus 7 is equal to 29 and above value is 25 so which one is maximum 29 now 10 minus 6 is equal to 4 above row fourth column has a value 7 7 plus 22 is equal to 29 and above value is 25 so we can uh, say maximum is 29 then last column 11 minus 6 that is 5 so above row fifth column has a value 18 18 plus 22 is equal to 40 and above value is 25 so which one is maximum 40 is maximum so in this way we can uh, fill our fourth row now let us uh, fill our uh, last row that is our uh, fifth row so as we already discussed if the value of j is less than the uh, weight of our object that is a 7 then we have to directly put above value here 1 is less than the 7 so we can directly put 1 here that is above value here 2 is less than the 7 so we can directly put above value that is 6 so here we can put 6 3 is less than the 7 so here we can put above value that is 7 4 is less than the 7 so we can directly put uh, 7 above value 7 5 is less than the 7 so we can directly put above value that is 18 6 is less than the 7 so we can directly put above value that is 22 7 is not less than the 7 so condition is false so we have to use this equation to fill this value so as per the equation i minus 1 j that is above value above value is 24 and uh, v of i minus 1 that is above uh, row j minus w i that is 7 minus 7 is equal to 0 above row 0th column has value 0 0 plus v5 that is 28 so the value is 28 and above value is 24 which one is maximum 28 so we have to put 28 here then 8 minus 7 that is 1 above row first column has value 1 1 plus 28 and above has a 28 so 28 plus 1 that is 29 and above value is 28 so we have to fill 29 which uh, uh, it is maximum then 9 minus 7 is equal to 2 so above value uh, above row second column is equal to 6 6 plus 28 that is 34 and above value is 29 so which one is maximum 34 then 10 minus 7 that is 3 above row third column has a value 7 and uh, v5 is equal to 28 28 plus 7 is equal to 35 above value is 29 so which one is maximum 35 is maximum so we have to put 35 now uh, 11 minus uh, 7 is equal to 4 so above row and fourth column has a value 7 7 plus 28 is equal to 35 and the above value is 40 so which one is maximum 40 is maximum so we have to put 40 here this is the answer 40 is our answer our knapsack uh, uh, will have a maximum 40 value maximum uh, 40 profit now in a last row last column uh, definitely will give uh, the answer or we can say the result but from this answer we cannot directly guess that which object we need to fill so that we can get this kind of profit or we can get maximum value so if you want to identify which object we need to uh, fill inside the knapsack so that we can get uh, a pro value that is 40 then we have to follow another method in this method we have to move from bottom to top it means that we have to start from the last row last column to the first row first column or first row zeroth column and in between we have to uh, follow few uh, instruction few rule to find out uh, which object we need to fill to get maximum value 
so let us start with let us uh, move from bottom to top by using some uh, constraint by using some uh, rule so let us start from the last row last column our last row that is a uh, fifth row and last column that is 11 so fifth row 11th column has a value 40 so this is our current position we have to compare exactly above value from the current position so this is our current position and above value is 40 so one thing you need to return here that if the value current value and above value both are equal at that time we have to just move on that location but don't return any value again i'm repeating we have to start from the last row last column then the first step is we have to compare with above value whenever this both the values are equal then we have to just move there don't return any object so here 40 and 40 both are equal so we have to just move above then don't return any object so we have to just move here again we have to check above value now our current position is our row number 4 when the value of object is 22 and weight 6 we are on this position fourth row now again we have to follow same uh, rule we have to compare with above value above value is 25 if this both the values are equal our current value is 40 and above value is 25 suppose both are equal then we have to just move there don't return any value but in this case this value is 25 and our current value is 40 both are not equal whenever both are not equal at that time we have to follow this equation that is v of i minus 1 j minus w i so we have to perform this operation that is above row i minus 1 means above row and j minus w i j is equal to 11 so 11 minus 6 is equal to 5 above row fifth column above row fifth column has a value 18 and plus v i that is v4 so 18 plus 22 is equal to 40 now compare this current value current value is also 40 both are equal then we have to just move on that particular location and return current object our current object is i is equal to 4 which has a value 22 and weight is equal to 6 so again we have to move on that location and we have to return this object so we are returning one object that is w4 is equal to 6 and v4 is, uh, is equal to 22 and we have to move on that particular location it means that above row fifth column again i am repeating whenever both are equal then we have to just move there don't return any value whenever both are not equal at that time we have to perform this operation 11 minus 6 is equal to 5 above row fifth column above row fifth column has a value 18 don't return that don't move directly first we have to compare 18 plus 22 is equal to 40 and here current value is also 40 both are equal then we have to return this object so object is our object number 4 we have to return object number 4 and we have to change our current position and we have to move on that location so above row fifth column now we are on this location again we have to follow same instruction we have to compare above value uh, with our current value our current value is 18 above value is 7 both are not equal so again we have to perform same operation like 5 minus 5 is equal to 0 above row 0th column is equal to 0 then 0 plus 18 is equal to 18 our current value is also 18 both are equal so we have to return this object so we are returning object number 3 w3 is equal to 5 v3 is equal to 18 so we are returning this object and we have to move on that location so we have to move here that is above row zeroth column now our current position is here so again we have to follow same instruction we have to compare with above value so above value is 0 so both current value and above value both are equal then we have to just move there don't return any value so we have to just move there now we have reached on first row zeroth column we have started from last row last column and we have uh, we have reached on first row first column or first row zeroth column so now we have to stop in this uh, path we have written two object first object that is object number four 
and second object that is object number 3. Once we check total value v3 is equal to 80 and v4 is equal to 22 then answer is 22 plus 18 is equal to 40 that is our answer. It means that we have to choose two object object number 3 and object number 4 to fill the knapsack at that time total weight will be 6 plus 5 is equal to 18 and maximum value will be 40 and this is our optimal solution. This is the example which we have already discussed how we can move from bottom to top to find out which object we need to fill. So this is all about uh, a, a knapsack problem by using dynamic programming. So uh, we have to uh, fill our knapsack by using this uh, equation and at the end we have to identify which object we need to uh, fill inside the knapsack so that we can get maximum value uh, and uh, with the capacity constraint that is capital W. So this is all about it. So thank you. Thank you very much.